when I was first starting out, I, I was desperate to get into a club called Pips in Brooklyn that was run by an old comedian named Georgie Starr, who David Brenner learned everything from. And I went out there and auditioned and, you know, went out from afterwards hoping that I would get the one job that paid in New York. It was $25 for two shows on the weekends. And I was, oh, I'm so desperate to get this job. And I went up to him and said, well, what advice do you have? And he said, uh, what they laugh at's funny. And I, I went, oh, oh, thanks. And I was so disappointed because I wanted the job. But it was really good advice that the audience tells you what's funny. So the more you're up there, the more you learn how you're funny, how the audience perceives you're funny. To do material. <laughs> I have an act uh, that is very audience interactive and works well in a small club, but when it gets to be bigger places or on TV, you know, I had to learn to do a different thing. I had to learn to do a monologue. So it's, it's really kind of kept me in the small clubs. And last summer I was offered a gig for a month to do shows every day in a 3,000 seat uh, outdoor arena. And I, I turned it down, the money was great. And I, I turned it down because I said, I, I can't talk to 3,000 people, they won't hear each other. So uh, do material. I had a woman here one time who, um, I said, uh, what brings you here to America? She had a thick European accent. And uh, I said, how long have you been here? She said, oh, 40 years. And I said, oh, what brings you here? And she said, uh, Hitler put my family in a concentration camp. <laughs> End of comedy. That first Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, you know, having grown up with him and watched him and imitated him when I first started out. You know, to, to be on that show, and at the end of the show, uh, at the end of the set, Johnny, cut to Johnny, and Johnny is giving me one of these, which he did when he liked the comments, you know, the best moment of the show. Business. I guess my own life is funny. You know, some people find politics funny. Uh, to me, <laughs> just the own oddness of my own life is, is funny. If I did material, I would talk about my own life. <laughs> You're watching uh, Five Questions, of which I think I answered only four, <laughs> but, uh, and I'm Jimmy Brogan.